people think that having horses and having horse tack, saddles, all that fun stuff is very expensive. But today, and for many of the future videos, we're going to be diving into how to have horses and how to have horse tack, saddles, that kind of thing, all on a budget. So today we're starting off with my <clears throat> saddle and all its tack. And of course, this is a little bit subjective. I set up my saddle the way I wanted to use it, which was kind of for a hunting, camping uh, setup. So of course, what you're gonna see is saddle bags and a scabbard for a rifle. But of course, you don't have to do that yourself. So uh, without wasting too much of you guys' time and without this being too boring, I'm just gonna roll into riding footage so that you guys can see. Also, I have rolled in a picture of just kind of showing you guys ultimately what I have. So for the bridle, that is a bridle that actually Ashley made, but it can they're made out of paracord. Paracord's really cheap and that entire head stall, I didn't even really factor it into this because it was basically just handmade. So it cost us nothing to make that. So then next to that, you have the saddle itself. Now my saddle's a little bit different, it is actually a bit more expensive, but it was given to me as a gift, so it was technically free for me, but I didn't want to just throw that out on you guys and be like, well, Go get, go get yourselves a free saddle. Obviously that's not very attainable and for someone who is new to the horse world or doesn't have a lot of horse connections, having something like a free saddle isn't possible. So uh, on eBay you can actually find a very similar style of saddle to what I have. I have a McClellan saddle, that's what I'm using as the basis for mine. Personally, I have actually quite a few saddles. I have Westerns, English saddles, a McClellan saddle, another cavalry saddle, um, a whole bunch of different styles and types. And personally, the reason why I went with this setup for the McClellan is because it's the most comfortable for me to sit in for a long period of time. And we're talking not just a few hours, we're talking upwards of six hours sitting in the saddle nonstop. Next to that, uh, behind it in the uh, picture that you guys hopefully think about or have seen, is the saddlebags. Now this is another kind of score on eBay and this is one of the things that if you do want an affordable setup you kind of got to patrol eBay and find what ultimate uh, one fits within your uh, budget or your price range. I ended up getting the saddles that you, or saddle bags, sorry, that you see in the picture or in the videos. I got those for $60, 60 bucks. They're, that's really cheap, especially for how thick and how well crafted those leather bag or saddle bags are. They're a really good score. And like I said, super cheap. So then lastly, I just got a, uh, a rifle scabbard once again ebay is loaded with rifle scabbards that's what you just have to type in is like rifle scabbard for horse and you will find a bunch of them pop up i managed to get mine for only 27 dollars now i will say this is kind of one of those things that if you are budget uh, hunting and you're trying to find things on a budget you will have to deal with a little bit of quality loss because one thing i noted with mine is in a few of, i'm not sure if uh, you'll be able to see but in a few of the kind of angles in the camera the rifle muzzle is actually sticking out of the scabbard that's because i still have yet to sew that area back up it busted out because the old stitching on that rifle scabbard uh, it just basically fell apart <clears throat> so it's not a huge deal and most of it has been restitched already so I just have to restitch the little bit in front of the muzzle so that's kind of one of those things that uh, buyer beware that you may have to put some time into the tack or equipment that you get but once again 27 bucks I can't really argue with that so overall that puts us in at under so if you were to get like $300 saddle 60 and 30 basically I'm just gonna round the 27 up to $30 for um, for for the saddlebags and scabbard that puts us at under $400 puts us at 390 basically and I factored in um, at under $500 I factored in like a couple saddle blankets which you could actually generally get those really cheap in fact the saddle blankets that were on my horse that you guys saw both of those were actually five dollars 
So anyways, like I said, there is this kind of notion that a lot of horse stuff has to be very expensive and when you get into horse riding that it automatically has to break the bank, but it really actually doesn't. And that's the primary reason why I wanted to do this video is to kind of share with you guys. I mean, this really awesome tacked out uh, saddle that fit my needs for hunting and camping. So anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed this and hopefully you've enjoyed the riding footage. I wanted to really just add commentary onto the riding footage and show you guys also how well the saddle and everything rides. And hopefully you guys will tune in for the next episode where I talk about something else that has to do with horses and on a budget.